So about a month ago, the YouTuber Jonas Tirola hosted a game jam with the theme Collaborate with AI and I made a game for it. So in this video, I am going to talk about my process of coming up with an idea and turning it into reality in only 3 days. The first thing that comes to mind when you hear the theme are probably either games where you have AI controlled mates or games with an AI playing in the main role like Portal. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. But usually the games in the top spots of a game jam are the ones that interpret the theme less directly and think a little more out of the box. My first idea when I heard the theme was to train some kind of neural network to help the player with a task but I realized quickly that I wouldn't be able to create something interesting in time. So my second idea was to make the player be the AI and then I remembered a game that I saw on YouTube a while ago called Observation. Looks like the connection to Universal is holding. Great work, Sam. Now, lift the lockdown on the hatch, please. In the game you play as an AI called Sam and you only see the world through cameras. I thought that this would be an interesting concept but just having to play as an AI isn't enough. It wouldn't really be collaboration with AI. So my idea was to make the AI help a human with some task. As for the gameplay, I wanted to make it a puzzle game, so what I settled on was that the AI needed to help the human break out of a deserted prison. Deserted, because I didn't have time to deal with guards, and I also didn't really know how to make them an interesting mechanic in only 3 days. So then I was ready to create the project and started by implementing a camera system. I also wanted to make some objects interactable when you look at them, so I used a wireframe shader to highlight them. This way of hacking devices works a little bit like in Watch Dogs. I also added the function to zoom in and out by scrolling. It also wouldn't make sense if the AI could just control every device at any time, so I created these control units that give you access to different devices. The way this works is that there's always one active control unit, and for each control unit there's a list of different devices they can control. Initially I had a whole lot of different device types in mind, but I quickly realized that I wouldn't be able to create all of them, and in the end I only made door access, cameras and a robot. These can all be accessed through the network view that you can open with Q. That way you only need visual contact if you want to activate another control unit. I also needed a way to implement the human in the gameplay, so I added some switches that a human needs to activate, which only works if the human can actually get to them. This way I can make sure the player always has to bring the human with him to progress. I also added the aforementioned robot, because I knew that only viewing the world through stationary cameras can be really repetitive. To give the robot some way to interact with the world, I created a robot switch that you can only activate by hitting it with the robot. Next I am going to talk about level design, so if you want to play the game yourself, I suggest that you pause the video and come back to it later, since I am now going to spoil a big part of the game. The game's HIO page is down in the description. I haven't really done a lot of level design in the past, because all the bigger projects that I finished had some kind of procedural generation. I told myself that there should be 3 sections, because that's a great number for a jam game, and started by sketching them on my tablet. As you can see they definitely don't look pretty, but they do the job in giving me a rough idea how the levels should work. I sketched the map, marked all the spots for the cameras, control units and switches, and used colors to show which camera belongs to which control unit. Then I moved on to Blender. First I created the room layout, with every room separated from the other rooms, and then I used the door model and the boolean modifier to cut out holes between the rooms. That way all the doors in the game have exactly the same shape. Hey, can you hear me? Okay, so you don't know me, but I created you to get out of here. This prison is deserted, because there was a problem with the security, but the director hates me, so unfortunately they forgot me when everybody left. Just get me out of here. 
When you start the game, you control a camera in a small cell and the human explains why he activated you and tells you that you should help him get out. When you then look around, you will notice that there is a second camera just outside of the cell. Upon interacting with it, you now control the second camera. From there you can see a big control unit in the room to the left. Upon interacting with that, there is an activation screen and you automatically switch to a third camera. This camera is in the room with a second control unit that's now lit green. That way the game teaches you a basic color code. Blue, interactable and green, active. There are no other cameras you can directly reach from there, but there is a computer in the room and on the screen it says press Q to open network view. In the network view you can switch to another camera outside of the room and also open the door to the cell with a human who will then walk out of the cell and stand in the hallway. Next up you will have to interact with this player switch to open the door and in the room behind there's a code to open the door to the next section. That way one mechanic is introduced after the other, all in a really simple setup so that you can use them in puzzles later on. The next section is all about the robot. First you will have to drive through some kind of tube to get in another room, activate a new control unit and open the door. Then again there's a new mechanic, the robot switch. And again it's placed right next to a door that instantly opens when you hit it. That way you learn that like the player switch, the robot switch is just another way to open doors. All these mechanics are then combined in the third section to make for a hopefully interesting puzzle, after which you will get to see the player leaving the facility. But like so often in game jams, not everything went according to plan. First of all, I made a big mistake. I had deactivated one of the doors for testing and just plain forgot to reactivate it when making the final build. By the time I noticed this I just had one minute left in the jam and stupidly deleted the broken build just before uploading the new one. Of course the time ran out which meant that I initially entered the jam with an empty project. Therefore I had to hand the game back in as a late submission which excluded me from the winning spots. Also, many people didn't quite understand how the game worked, since there wasn't really an interactive tutorial. Additionally, it can be really hard to know where you are, since there's no way to see the layout of the map. And then finally, there were the edge case bugs, like the UI overlapping itself on really wide screens. But overall it was still a success, since I got around to create a game I would never have created without that jam. So that was a little bit of a different video, the next one will again be a normal devlog. I hope you found it interesting. Let me know in the comments if you participated in any game jam lately and if everything went well. So then, as always, like if you liked, dislike if you didn't, join my discord link in the description and I'll see you in the next one.